Hey everybody, Suki Sharp here. Um, yeah, I know I haven't been uploading like I promised, but you know I'm uploading right now. So, I mean, I just decided to make a quick little video. Here are my actual NCAA tournament predictions. If you actually thought that my live stream was actually my tournament predictions, no, they were just fake. They were a joke. These are my actual tournament predictions. I think this is actually gonna happen. All right, uh. Before you guys watch this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all that. And, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, my allergies are acting up. <clears throat> but yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, just drag me down all the way down here. And, uh, let's get into these predictions. All right, starting off, the first four started yesterday. The other first four games are later tonight between, I believe, yeah, Texas Southern and Fairleigh Dickinson and then Arizona State, Nevada. All right, start, we'll start with the South region. All right, for this game, Alabama, I mean, they're a really good team. But honestly, man, Texas, Texas A&M Corpus, Cor Corpus Christi is just too good. I honestly think Texas A&M Corpus Christine is going to win this game and just and, and, and win. Texas A&M Corpus Christine is the real deal, guys. Um, And then you got Maryland and West Virginia, both two really, really equally teams. Uh, But I think West Virginia will find a way to be able to get the win because Texas, because West Virginia is honestly just, they're a really good team, man. I, I think they'll find a way. And according to this, it looks like they're really, really good at offense, averaging over six, 76 points a game. That's amazing. But, yeah, man. And then you got San Diego State and Charleston. San Diego State, they have a really, really good defense. And Char College of Charleston, they have a really, really good offense. It's going to be a good defense and a good offense crashing into each other. And honestly... I think Charleston is just a better team. I think Charleston is going to find the way to get the win. Then you got Virginia and Furman. Furman, man, they love to put up points. They they love to put up points. This is why exactly I am taking them. Because for one reason, Virginia, they always struggle against teams who can Re shoot the three really well. That's kind of why they lost to UMBC that one year, because UMBC kept hitting those, getting those little bubble screens, and then just knocking down those threes. That's why they lost to UMBC. They struggle against those kind of teams, and I think Furman is definitely one of those teams. That's why I'm taking Furman, and then Creighton in NC State. Either team can definitely win this game. But I'm going with NC State. NC State, man. And then Baylor and UC Santa Barbara. UC Santa Barbara looks like they're really, really good defensive team. And I think that's going to lead them to the victory. The Gauchos are headed to the second round. And then Utah State and Mizzou. I think I'm going to go with Utah State. Utah State, man. Utah State's the real deal. I mean, I don't know. Utah State's the real deal. Mizzou's a little bit overrated. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I think Utah State will find a way to get the win. And then Princeton and Arizona. I'm going with Princeton. Princeton, man. They're really, really good. Do not sleep on the Tigers. All right. Uh, all right. Next game, Texas A&M Corpus Christi versus West Virginia. Man, you got to go. I got to go with Texas A&M Corpus Christi. They're so good. Like, they're so good, man. I'm telling you. And then Charleston and Furman. I'm going with Furman in this one. NC State, UC Santa Barbara, this could be a good game, but I'm going UC Santa Barbara. And then we got Utah State versus Princeton. I'm going with Princeton. 
Princeton man's the real deal. And then Texas A&M Corpus Christi and Furman. You just got to go keep rolling with Texas A&M Corpus Christi, man. They're really, 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 really good. I'm telling you. And then uh, UC Santa Barbara and Princeton. You got to take Princeton. So here we go. The Elite Eight matchup between Texas A&M Corpus Christi and Princeton. Two really talented teams. But I am going with Texas A&M Corpus Christi to win the South and head to the Final Four. All right, so we're done with the South. We'll move on to the Midwest. All right, we got Houston versus Northern Kentucky. Northern Kentucky, man, they're a really, really good team. I honestly think they'll beat Houston and beat them with somewhat ease because they're the real deal. And you got Iowa and Auburn. I'm going with I. I'm going with Auburn. I mean Auburn, man. Bruce Pearl seems to always get his team team ready for March, and I think. I mean Auburn just always seems to win at least one first round game, and I think I think it'll be easy for them to do. Miami and Drake. I'm going with Drake. I am rolling with the Bulldogs. Um. Well, not here. What am I? What's going on? So yeah, Miami and Drake. I'm going with the Drake Bulldogs, and then Indiana and Kent State. I'm going with the Flashes. Kent State, man, they can shoot. They can shoot. They play really well on both offense and defense. This is why the Kent State Flashes could definitely win this game. And then uh, Iowa State and Pitt, because Pitt beat Mississippi State the other day. I'm going with Pitt. I think Pitt's a really, really well-rounded team. They play a good offense. Their defense, though, could use some work, but Iowa State, they're not really that good offensively. So I think Pitt should be able to get the win here. So, yeah, I'm going with Pitt. Then Xavier and Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State, easy, easy. Kennesaw State, man, they are really, really good. Like I'm telling you, they are the real deal. And then Texas A&M and Penn State. I'm going with Penn State. I'm going with the Nittany Lions. Jalen Pickett for Penn State. And their coach, that Shrewsbury, yeah, he, he's, a, he's a really good coach. I think Penn State will find a way here. Texas and Colgate. Colgate, man, out of the Patriot League. I'm telling you, man. Colgate, they always have upset potential with them every single year. They always shoot really, really well. They, they just always do for some weird reason. Look at that. Almost averaging somewhat almost 80 points a game. Like, man, look at that. That's an amazing, amazing defensive points per game number right there. Amazing. Six, they only allow 69 points a game. That's amazing. Um, so, yeah, Colgate, I think they'll beat Texas. And then North Kentucky versus Auburn. You got to roll with the Norse. The Norse are legit, people. Write it down. The Norse, they're just legit. Drake and Kent State, I am taking the flashes here. Kent State to the Sweet 16. Because they, they are a really, really good team. And then you got Pitt and Kennesaw State. I'm going with Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State is the real deal. I'm telling you, man, they're they're legit. And then Penn State and Colgate, I'm going with Colgate here. I mean, Colgate, they're just too well at shooting the ball. I think they'll move on to the Sweet 16. And then North Kentucky versus Kent State, this could be a good game. It definitely could. I could see this going either way, but I gotta go with the Norse. I gotta go with the Norse. Uh, the Norse, man. They're legit. I gotta go with the Norse. And then you got Colgate versus Kennesaw State. I'm going with Colgate. I'm going with the toothpaste. You know who I am. And then North Kentucky versus Colgate. This would be a really, really, really good game. But I going with North Kentucky. To win the Midwest. I think North Kentucky moves on to the Final Four.
All right, and I guess we'll go to the West. We'll go to the West. First, we got Kansas versus Howard. I'm going with Howard here. Howard, man, they're, I'm telling you, they're good. And then you got Arkansas versus Illinois. I'm going with Il the fighting Eli and I here. I think Illinois will find a way to win this to win that game. And then St. Mary's St. Mary's VCU, man. I watched VCU play the other day. They looked amazing. They honestly did. VCU, not even joking, they could definitely make like some noise in the tournament. Like VCU's the real deal. Um and I cannot wait to see what they do this year. I think they could definitely I think they're definitely a sleeper to make like the Elite Eight or Final Four. Um but yeah, I'm going for Virginia Commonwealth. And then Iona Yukon. I'm going with the fighting Rick Patinos. Iona, man, they they're really, really good. Like, they're really, really good. I'm telling you. Iona's the real deal. And then TCU versus the play in between Arizona State and Nevada. That's later tonight. Arizona State and Nevada play each other. Whether that will play TCU. I'm going to go with the play in here. Arizona State and Nevada. I think they'll find a way to win. Um, Arizona State and Nevada, man. Book it. And then Gonzaga versus Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon. Go with Grand Canyon here, man. I'm telling you. Antelopes. Legit. Alright, then we're going to go Northwestern Boise State. I'm going to pick Boise State. The Broncos, man. They're really, really good. They're a very, very, very talented team. Yeah, sorry about that. Just moving downstairs. And I'll just I'll just do it like this. There we go. That that seems much better. All right. Uh, UCLA, UNC Asheville. UNC Asheville, man, they're legit. Like, look at that. I mean, let me show you this. Like, look at that. 75 points a game. Defense could use some work, though, but UNC Asheville, man, they're legit. They are legit. All right, Howard, Illinois, you got to go with Howard. You got to go with Howard. VCU Iona, I'm going with Iona. <laughs> All right, and then Grand Canyon versus either Arizona State or Nevada. I'm going Grand Canyon. Then Boise State, UNC Asheville. UNC Asheville. Then Howard, Iona, Howard. And then this is where Grand Canyon's incredible run ends. UNC Asheville's just too good. And then you got to pick Howard here. Man. This, so far, this is what we have in the final four. Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, and then you got Northern Kentucky versus Howard. I think that's what the final four will be. And then you got Purdue versus either Texas Southern or Fairleigh Dickinson. you got to take Fairley, Texas Southern or Fairleigh Dickinson. One of those teams, whoever wins tonight, they're going to beat Purdue. It's just going to happen. It's going to happen. Um, and then you got Memphis versus FAU. You got to roll with the Owls, man. You got to take the Owls. Got to take the Owls. And then Duke versus Oral Roberts. I'm telling you, man, Oral Roberts is so legit. Max Aismas and that seven-foot guy they have, they're legit. Oral Roberts could definitely make some noise in the tournament. And then Tennessee versus Louisiana. As a Tennessee fan, I want to pick Louisiana. But Louisiana is honestly just the better team. I mean, they're, they're just so good. So you got to go with Louisiana. Got to go with the Louisiana. Raging Cajuns. 
Then you got Kentucky versus Providence. I'm going Providence here. Providence, man, they're good. They are good. And Kentucky, honestly, they suck. They're not good. Oscar Shibwe is overrated. John Carroll Perry's one of the most overrated coaches of all time. It, it, they're just going to lose to Providence, just like they did last last year to St. Peter's. Um, and then Kansas State, Montana State. I'm going to go with Montana State here. Montana State, they're legit. They are legit. And then Michigan State, USC. I'm taking USC. And then Marquette versus Vermont. I'm taking Vermont. Best defense in college basketball. I'm not even lying. If you thought Tennessee's was good, Vermont's is even better. Um, Texas Southern or Fairleigh Dickinson versus FAU. I'm taking Texas Southern or Fairleigh Dickinson. One of those teams, they're going to make it to the Sweet 16. Let's be honest here. And then Oral Roberts, Louisiana. I think this would definitely be a good game. But I'm going Louisiana. I'm going Louisiana. I mean, you just got to go with Louisiana. And then Providence versus Montana State. I'm going with Montana State here. Montana State to the Sweet 16. And then USC Vermont. I'm going Vermont. I'm going Vermont. Then you got either Texas Southern or Fairleigh Dickinson versus Louisiana. I'm going Texas Southern or Fairleigh Dickinson. Then you got Montana State or Vermont. I got Vermont, man. Vermont, and then I'm going Texas Southern or Fairway Dickinson. So here's my final four. I got Texas A&M Corpus Christi versus either Texas Southern or Fairway Dickinson, then North Kentucky versus Howard. Honestly, these are probably the four best teams in college basketball. I'm not even lying. I'm not even lying. Um. I gotta check the stats on these. Like these are two, four really, really, really good teams. Well, I guess you can't take check the stats there, but I can check the stats here. All right, honestly, I think for this game, I'm gonna go with Northern Kentucky. Northern Kentucky, man, they're really, 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 really good. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. And then Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, or either Texas Southern or Fairleigh Dickinson. I got to go with Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. Here we go, the national championship between Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, or Northern Kentucky. I, I have, as much as I want to pick Northern Kentucky here, they're, they're really good. Northern Kentucky, look at that, 63 points a game. They're really, really good. But I just can't. I got to take Texas A&M Corpus Christi to win the whole thing. And I think they'll win 69, 68 on a buzzer beater. Oh, no. <laughs> but yeah, I think Utah State will win there, then UC Santa Barbara, my bad. I apparently forgot to make it. Alright, so here we go. My national champion, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi. <laughs> well, guys. There we go. There's my bracket picks. I have Texas A&M, Corpus Christine.
winning the national championship. I think they're the best team in college basketball. I honestly think that they're going to win it all. They're the real deal. Pick them to win it all. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Pick them to win it all in your bracket. If you do, you will 100% be right. All right. I think I'm in the video right here. Remember, guys, pick Texas A&M Corpus Christi to win it all, and I'll see you guys later.